Good morning. Good morning. Welcome everyone to celebrate the Thursday of the seventh week of ordinary time. Please join me in the entrance antiphon. O Lord, I trust in your merciful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us take a moment to call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things you may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich. Weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away. Your clothes have become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded. And that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold, the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned, you have murdered, the righteous one, you offered you, he offered you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Amen. The responsorial psalm, the response is, blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. This is the way of those who trust his folly. The end of those contend their lot. Like sheep they are herded into the nether world. Death is their shepherd, and the upright rule over them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, their kingdom of heaven is theirs. Quickly their form is consumed. The nether world is their palace, but God will redeem them for the power of the netherworld by receiving them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, when the wealth of his house becomes great, for when he dies he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he can counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall join the circles of his forebearers who shall never more see light. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him. A great millstone were put around his neck, and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt becomes insipid, with what will you restore its flavor? Keep salt in yourselves, and you will have peace with one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning once again. We see a change in our church decorations. Um, this week we have our green um, banners up along our columns. Of course, it's a sign that we have began um, an ordinary time. Of course, we'll still be celebrating some special um, feast days on the weekend. We just celebrated um, Pentecost Sunday on um, this past Sunday. We'll be celebrating um, Holy Trinity this coming weekend and Corpus Christi um, the weekend after. But we have begun ordinary time once again. Um, but also once again, um, back in the older um, missiles of the church, um, this season of um, the days following Pentecost used to um, be more of a, an octave. In a sense, um, Pentecost is an important feast. After Christmas and Easter, when we celebrate an octave, a holy um, eight days following those special feast days and um, in the older church calendars, it used to be an octave, too, um, for Pentecost, just recognizing that gift of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit um, upon the church for Pentecost. So certainly we're still in the wake of those um, Holy Spirit um, Pentecost um, graces um, this week. And in a sense, as we celebrate ordinary time, of course, there's nothing just ordinary about it. Of course, the work and activity of the Holy Spirit is always extraordinary, and of course, God is always at work in an extraordinary manner in our lives. But as uh, many of our schools will be um, wrapping up today, today will be the last day for many of our schools. We certainly um, keep our children and their families in our prayers in this Mass today. And we recognize that summer is upon us, but as we kind of Come into the lazier days of summer, we want to continue to pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon us. Just as we hear today in our gospel, we receive a stark reminder of our call to continue to grow in holiness. As we hear um, Jesus say that, you know, if your hand causes you to sin, it'd be better for you to cut it off um, than to have two hands to go into Gehenna. And he says the same um, of your feet. In a sense, um, Jesus is reminding us in a stark contrast our call to holiness. In a sense, sometimes as we enter the summer months, we can become a little lax um, in our prayer lives. And we have to perhaps make a little bit of an extra um, effort to continue to remain intentional um, in the gifts of our prayer during the summer. Um, so let us today um, continue to pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us continue to ask the Lord how he's calling us greater to the gift of holiness. With confidence and trust, let us bring our prayers before our eternal Father. 
For church leaders, may the voice of the Holy Spirit continue to lead them as they serve and guide God's holy people. We pray to the Lord. For political and civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit inspire their efforts in working to protect human life from conception through natural death. We pray to the Lord. For our children who will be concluding their school year this week, next week, may the Lord's blessing be upon them and their families. We pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, that they may receive the reward of a life well spent and come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory. We pray to the Lord. For the special intentions we hold within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Almighty and eternal God, our salvation comes from you alone. Hear and answer the prayers we bring before you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. I pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom he made all things, whom he sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ and be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Me and Antiphon, I will recount all your wonders, I will rejoice in you and be glad, and sing songs to your name, O Most High.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God, bless your name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. St. Michael, witness in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Remember, most gracious Virgin.